um, what we'll do is that we'll perform some basic uh, summary statistics and how do we get uh, the basic summary statistics uh, we'll use the method uh, describe okay cars underscore describe when you do that you will get the basic summary statistic like mean median uh, standard deviation and, and so on right and that's what you can see uh, one thing to note here is that you cannot get mean uh, standard deviation uh, or uh, you know maximum and minimum for categorical variables you only get for numerical and continuous variable right continuous numerical variables right so in in um, this you can see uh, the count uh, the mean standard deviation uh, uh, the minimum and you know the 25 percentile, the 50 percentile, uh, 70 percentile, and the maximum values. Okay. Now uh, the basic summary statistics help us help uh, you know in a great way to understand the distribution of the data. Okay. For modeling, make sure that um, the uh, standard deviation is not zero. If the standard deviation of a variable is zero. Then that, that variable uh, gives us no variation. There is no variation in that data, and it's not very useful for statistical models. So we simply need to, you know, get rid of that variable or drop that variable from the analysis. All right. Um, what else? Well, uh, looking at the mean, and the, and the minimum, uh, and the maximum, and obviously the percentile distribution, we'll get a feel of whether uh, the data. Uh, has outliers or too many extreme values uh, and, and, and so on. Sometimes we have you know uh, extreme values that are uh, unacceptable. That means they will create a major trouble uh, in, in uh, model building. So we need to just get rid of these you know, values. Okay. So identification of outliers, missing values and, and, and so on require us to do some basic you know this uh, summarization okay um, if you really want to sort the variables sort the data with respect to variables just to see um, you know uh, extreme values in a bit more detail right because here when we summarize uh, we probably won't get uh, to see the extreme values too closely okay we want to see little more at a little more granular level right in in, in order to do uh, so, we need to sometimes do sorting of this data with respect to a given variable. Pretty much the way we do in Excel, right? We also sort the data in order to see the you know maximum um, you know values for a given variable and the minimum values of a given variables, and not the maximum only, but the set of um, uh, maximum values. So here it is. Um, 